All right, guys, so our friends over at Retro Flag have sent me the Super Pie case, and they sent me both the North American style as well as the Super Famicom style. So I just want to give a shout out to them. Thank you guys for sending these out. Now, I'm well aware that I've already gone ahead and done a Super Pie case assembly and tutorial video, but they have made a slight change and they wanted me to do a small video on that, so I'm going to. And because they sent out two different devices, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for these. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I will tell you guys what you guys need to do in order to enter. So as you can see, the big changes here is that they've now included a storage cartridge. And it's just this little cartridge that sits on top of the device and it makes the uh, the console look so much more complete. And you can store all of your micro SD cards right in there. So uh, I'm just gonna show you guys really quickly how to get this set up. So we're gonna go ahead and do the Super Famicom uh, style case because I did the North American style case previously. We're gonna pop open the box. And there is our console. Now, as I mentioned before, I've already done a video on how to assemble this completely. So I'm not gonna show you guys how to install Raspberry Pi or anything like that. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna focus on this new attachment. I'm gonna show you guys how to get this new attachment installed. And then if you guys are interested in learning how to install the custom scripts or anything like that, uh, I will leave a link in the description down below uh, for you guys to watch and see how to get that all installed properly. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this little cartridge here, and this is what we're gonna be working on today. So inside of the little baggie, what we are going to get is we are going to get a little piece of sticky tape, double-sided sticky tape. We're gonna get the actual mini cartridge with this removable magnet along the bottom. And then we get options in terms of the artwork that we want to put on. As you can see, we've got the North American style and the Super Famicom style. Obviously, for this build, I'm going to go true with the original style, and we're going to be using the Super Famicom sticker. So first, we need to remove this little magnet, and there is only one way it'll fit on, as magnets are polarized. Inside, you can see there is another magnet right inside the bottom, so that's what's actually going to attach it. So it's nice and slick. What we need to do is we need to grab the magnet and on the bottom you'll see they've marked it with a red sharpie. That's going to indicate which direction the magnet needs to sit. So the spot with the red sharpie needs to be facing up. We're gonna grab the double-sided sticky tape and we're going to apply it to that side of the magnet. Then we're gonna remove the secondary layer and we're just gonna go ahead and stick this right into the little cartridge area that they've got. So it just has to sit in between the two little hooks. Make sure that you're leaving enough space for it to close properly. Uh, and if you can close it and pop it open, then you know you've done it correctly. As you can see now, we can just go ahead and snap that piece on and it just connects in and fits perfectly. It's absolutely awesome. It looks really sharp. As you can see, you can still pop it up and still get access to the other SD card storage, but it just looks really cool. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply the Retro Flag sticker to the actual mini cartridge. It applies nice and easy. It uh, is actually really easy to take off as well. So if you don't like this style, you can always take it off. And additionally, you can make your own labels. These are just very simple labels to make. You can print one on the computer and you can stick it on yourself as well. So there it is. As you can see, it just adds so much more to the physical aesthetic of the actual case and it completes it so much. There was a bunch of people that were like, why didn't they come out with uh, a mini cartridge or something like that? And now they've done it. It just looks really sharp. So kudos to you guys at Retro Flag. So I've got them both set up here. And as I mentioned previously, we are going to be doing a giveaway. I've already got one of these. I don't need two more of them. So if you guys are interested at all in this, you don't need to be subscribed to the channel. All that you're gonna need to do is leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know which version you're interested in. Now, of course, you can always subscribe to the channel, uh, give the video a thumbs up, share the video with as many people as you can. I'd like to get as many people involved in this as possible, but uh, that's pretty much it. All you've got to do, as I said, is leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know which version you guys would be interested in. I'm gonna give you guys one full week to enter into this, so the comment Cutoff point is going to be Wednesday, September 11th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys are interested, you got to make those comments before that date. Um, but that's all you got to do. 
and I will pay for the shipping to send it out. What you're going to be getting is the uh, Super Pi case as well as one brand new controller to go along with it uh, and everything else that comes in the box. You'll still need to provide your own Raspberry Pi 3, but uh, I'm imagining that uh, if you're watching this video, you probably already are interested in it or already have one. So this is a great way for you guys to grab one of these cases. Now I'm going to leave links in the description down below. If you guys are interested in purchasing the cases, they are available on Amazon. On. So if interested, hop on down to the description. Um, but if you guys want to get one for free, just leave a comment in the comment section below. That's all I've got for you for this video. Again, be sure to share and like the video. Subscribe to the channel. It helps me out so very much and I really appreciate it. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.